today we'll talk about error handling in Rust. Error handling is a base concept of many programming languages. Most programming languages, they have usually one way to handle errors, usually with something called exceptions. In Rust, there are no exceptions. <laughs> Rust has two types of errors, unrecoverable errors and recoverable errors. We will see both of them, of course. Unrecoverable errors are handled by the panic macro. We have seen program panicking in the previous lessons, maybe in the logs, but we never talked about the panic macro, and we will see the recoverable errors handled by result, which is an enum. Let's start talking about unrecoverable errors with the panic macro. Panic macro can be invoked in two different cases. One is that we call the panic macro intentionally, and the other one is that the execution of the program make the program to panic. Let's see a quick example. We can type panic, crash and burn like this. Let's try to execute this and let's see what's the output and what are like the things to know about the panic macro. Cargo run and as expected the program panicked. Let's read here thread main panicked at rust src main.rs 17.5 on the line 17 character 5 1 2 3 4 5 the program panicked let's keep reading here run with rust backtrace equal one environment variable to display a backtrace if you want to see more logs you can do something like that rust underscore backtrace equal one and then cargo run and let's see what's the output here in this case we have a longer logs and this is great for example if we want to debug of course here there is nothing to debug because it's just invoking the panic macro we can have a more verbose output if you want to have an even longer backtrace we can type rust underscore backtrace equal full and check the output here it's just going crazy just for a simple panic. So we really get all the details for this. Another one is to have it because our program has a bug or maybe the user is doing something that uh, it's not allowed. Let's see a classical example. We declare a vector. You can see a previous lesson about vectors. And then we want to try to access an index that does not exist. For example, the number 100. If we type cargo run, we have, of course, index out of bound. The len is 3, but the index is 99. So we also get a small suggestion in the C language if we try to do something like this. I return something that specific location in memory. And this is very dangerous for two reasons. The first reason is that I can have strange behaviors in my program. I'm accessing a random point in the memory. Usually this is not a good idea. Another reason is that uh, this can have a security issue. People can get some information about the program just by doing this on purpose. Instead, when I panic in Rust, the program stops executing and it starts to clean up all the stuff. Interesting way to handle unrecoverable errors in Rust, we have this panic macro or it can be invoked by the program itself if we have some bugs, something that is not allowed.